right, let's take a live look outside at the Santa Monica Pier this morning. Good morning, everyone. We have another warm day on the way, dealing with very dry conditions once again. Winds not too bad, still offshore. Tomorrow we'll turn that offshore wind onshore, though, and that is going to be good news because it's going to start to cool us down. Let's take a look at current conditions up toward Mount Wilson, where crews are battling a fire. Temperatures have already climbed into the 70s. Winds still out of the north, gusting 8 miles per hour. Relative humidity has dropped now down to 5%. So it is very dry. Current conditions downtown in the upper 60s, mid 60s at the beach, low 60s in Orange County, mid 60s for the Inland Empire. Valleys, mid 60s, mountains at 30 degrees right now. Look at your dew points once again. And the 30s in the 40s. Up in the mountains, though, that's where those numbers are lowest in the teens right now in Big Bear. So they're up from yesterday, and I want to show you why. We have this system off the coast. This is going to bring in some of that cloud cover that we'll see today and some of that moisture. It's also, though, bringing in some high surf. We could see those waves getting up to six feet today into tomorrow evening. Dangerous rip currents also a concern. And that's why we have these beach hazard statements in effect. High pressure still parked overhead, but it'll move off to the east, and this low to our north will bring back that marine layer as we head into tomorrow. Also, as we head into tomorrow, those winds turning from offshore to onshore. And that's going to be good news. It'll finally cool things down for us. We have another warm day on the way today. Lots of 90s out there, but we'll take off three to five degrees from yesterday. That's the good news. We'll continue this cool down into Thursday and Friday, but then we are going to heat right back up, bring back that sunshine, track another Santa Ana wind event as we head into the weekend and next week.